three two and one one two. Uh, if one of the if the radial handrails looked like it would be provide a cleaner and a, a more convenient uh, routing, just tell us. We can uh, if that works better for you guys. I think there's a radial handrail right there between those two on node one. Yeah, one three two doesn't really make sense to me. At least not for this one because. 132 is uh, pointing forward and uh, the angle of the of the connector is going uh, aft. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, maybe oh. one four, I think that radial handrail is 143. If you think that'll work a little bit better, you might do 143 and then 112. I think what we would do is uh, we have to have a place for the coil, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's going to be on node 3. Though. I think we'll put the right. coil on node 3. And so I think the coil, a good place, is uh, 0681. And then if we were to come straight across to handrail 0128. What do you think about something like this? Well, here. You're right there. This is 112. I think that, look, that looks reasonable. What do you think? I think uh, I was trying to use the, the handrails that were along the circumference instead of on the end cone. So you got 0128, which I've uh, put it behind up here. And then if we uh, come to where yeah. you're at. That's true. If you can avoid the circumference. So that keeps us off oh, of the Yeah, uh, that's, that's probably enough. We don't need the. Yeah. So if we just did a single one. Here on zero one two eight. Yep. Yeah, I agree. That would be. Uh, uh, the only question we have, Drew, is uh, the clocking of this uh, cable. With the way the connector's got an L a ninety on the end of it, we probably want to secure it one more place, kind of close to itself. Yeah, and that's 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 kind of a, a an artifact of the relocation because originally the cables were coming from a different direction so now that we've got that that uh, the node 3 location changed you've got to make that kind of bend in the uh okay is there a is there still a on orbit installed handrail um, just further nadir of the one that uh, is in place for the ammonia lines I've been good enough if it goes to this one what, what's the number now oh this is the same as where we have the QD lines later. Yep. Yeah, you should be on. Uh, you should have the the QD bracket in the location where it would where uh, it'd be zero one one one. And for the one that's closer into the pedals, is that the one you're asking about? The, the correct. Is that handrail still installed? Uh, I don't know. Let me. Well, I'll check on that. If it is installed, it, we could uh, tie it off there. You mean here, where it's kind of empty right now? Yeah, kind of right here. There yep, should yep. be a handrail. Right. Yeah, I agree. That would be. And then we can put it between there and handrail 0128. And uh, they can both go to that handrail and it would clear the translation path. Yeah, that it, the, the handrail that you see there, uh, closer into the pedals, is not there. I think they just the, we just used that as a stowage location for the handrail we pulled off from 111. So that's actually not a... Uh, not a real that we probably should have that uh, pulled out of there. Okay. And so what's that handrail that you're holding on to there, Krister? 112. 112. So use that wire tie there on 112, kind of down on that end of the standoff where it's at. Uh, let's see. Oh, if you go like that, that's a little bit of a sharp angle at the connector. Or you can, I don't know what. I don't know if we need one one two. Can we can we use uh, the end of the handrail where we have the QDs later? No, they really don't want us to put those cables in the same place where we're going to have uh, the uh, okay. fluid lines routing. Well, maybe we need to go here then anyhow. And EV one ECS, your cooling is at seventy GPH. Thank you, ECS. TD Video Audio is leaving MBL. Thank you. TC, this is TD.